City of Dinellan and Mexican government officials are reacting after the deadly crash. TV 20's Misty Webb tells us how they hope to provide support. This bus behind me is one of the many buses used to transport produce, but what was supposed to be a trip to a watermelon farm turned into a tragedy. Terrible, terrible day. Those on the bus were heading to Cannon Farms moments before eight of them lost their lives. Consulate of Mexico officials say the workers were staying at the Days Inn in Gainesville and worked throughout North Central Florida. They also say the workers on board were men and a lot of them had kids. One of the guy who passed away, he, he stayed alone, uh, her, his daughter, oh, one year old and a half. Is very sad. He also says another man had two kids as well. Some people at the hotel were grieving today's events. Well, now the, the, main, the main issue is to support their uh, health. Dinellan City officials are also reacting to the deadly accident just outside of their city. Even though they're not residents of this area, it's um, they're people who've come into our town and um, it's your heart just goes out for them and all their family members and, and that they don't have maybe family here to go and support them. That's heartbreaking. Valerie Hancher says she hopes to see community outreach after such a traumatic event. This is when small towns and uh, Marion County really shines. We're always there for each other. Officials say they are praying for everyone involved and hope to provide all the support they can to help them recover. Misty Webb, TV 20 News.